I want to speak directly to the airmen of the 319th Reconnaissance Wing, represented by the formation here today. We are in a decisive decade. This decade will set the course of our nation's security for the next century. In this decade, the People's Republic of China will be our pacing challenge, and Russia will remain an acute threat to our nation's security. You are in a unique position. You are pursuing and exposing our adversaries each and every day. You are shaping the future of information warfare through excellence in reconnaissance and private public teaming. Your knowledge and expertise will remain in high demand. It is not too fine a point to note that the security of our nation depends upon it. I'm incredibly proud of your accomplishments under Colonel Curley's leadership, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you will achieve with Colonel Monroe in the seat. To borrow from Colonel Curry's lead, your leadership, your Air Force, and your nation are on your wing. As our song says, off we go. Thank you. I am an outlier. I inherited an amazing wing with a well-known and respected lineage of outstanding commanders and senior enlisted leaders and community partners. I did not deserve to be the 319th wing commander and never presumed I'd have the opportunity to serve my airmen for the full two years. I understand very well that command is not guaranteed. It is a privilege. Like the freedom we experience daily in the United States of America because of men and women standing in that formation. To the Griffins who span the globe from North Dakota to California, Guam to Japan, Sicily to now Georgia, including my closest wingman, Chief Chris Ladarchek, and the commander of the formation standing right there, Del Rivera, and every Griffin in the hangar, to include my civilians. What you have invested in me, what you have taught me, what you have shared with me, and most importantly, what you have accomplished as a team will bring me peace and comfort for years to come. We thank you for the warm welcome to Grand Forks Air Force Base and the great state of North Dakota. We look forward to continuing the long-standing traditions of partnership focused on strengthening our nation's defense and bettering the lives, community, and mission accomplishment of our airmen and their families. And we're grateful for your presence here today. We must be ready to manage change and meet difficult challenges with the poise, professionalism, and perseverance expected of the United States Air Force. Members of this wing are deployed around the globe as we speak. We're constantly engaged in competition for information dominance, and we have a solemn responsibility to perform those missions with the talent and tools represented in and outside of this hangar. To the Griffin family, our future is bright because you choose to defend our nation in its time of need. It is an honor to be a Grand Forks Air Force Base Griffin and a defender of liberty. Thank you very much. <laughs> 